Hi there, and welcome to another video. Today, I'll show you a very easy way to make a Pikmin. It's a secret pack that nobody knows about. All you need is a copy of Pikmin 3, a bit of soil, and some water. Let's wait a few days for it to grow. I think it's right now. Whoa, it's a rock Pikmin. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Okay, for real, I'll show you how I made this Pikmin diorama. I had a bit of an idea in my head, so I drew it on a scrap of paper before starting, because the few brain cells I have left are not very reliable when it comes to remembering ideas. Let's start with the base. I'm gonna use a scrap of dollar store foam cardboard and cut it into a circle. I wanted to use a tuna can, but even after washing it a few times, it still smelled like fish and it was making me nauseous. So not wanting to spill the contents of my stomach onto the base, I opted for this odorless tomato sauce can. It's a bit too long, so let's cut it in half. After giving the can a nice soapy bath, I removed the label and will make a new one on the computer. Here's a question for you. If Nintendo were to make canned goods, what kind of food would it be? My guess is tomato sauce. Anyways, I printed the label and tore off the edges with my fingers to give it a weathered look. And now let's glue the label around the can. To make it look even more weathered, let's paint on some rust. Take your worst paintbrush for this, like the most horrible brush, the better, and just dab some brown and orange paint on there. I'm using a mix of burnt umber, raw sienna, and cadmium orange to get some different tones and shade in there. Now that the can is done, let's glue it to the foam board before adding some fake grass. Let's cover the base in a thick coat of glue before sprinkling on the fake grass. At this point, I realized the lawn was way too flat. The art direction I was going for was fluffy meadow grass and not boring golf course grass. So I mixed a bit of glue, modeling paste and grass to make this forbidden coleslaw mixture that I spread onto the base. While that's drying, let's start sculpting the pigments. I'm using Sculpey Tree Clay to sculpt the pigments. This was my first time using it and I wanted to give it a try. Let's start with the rock pigment. I think rock pigment are the easiest one to sculpt because they are literally a chunk of rock. I made a ball of black clay and use an exacto blade to slice off chunks of clay until I achieve a decent rock pigment shape. I tried my best to make the cut as accurate as possible by looking at references, but I mean, if it looks like a chunky rock, it should be good enough. To make the legs and feet, I roll a tiny wormy dealy and cut off two little triangles. With that done, let's make another one. The arms are made in the exact same way, except the wormy dealies are a bit longer. Let's attach all the limbs to our little rock friend here. I also made a cone for the antenna. I'm not gonna make the flower right away. 
I'm gonna bake it first and once the clay is cured, it should be hard enough to support the weight of the flour. I'm using white clay for the eyes, I'll paint the pupils later on, but you could also use black clay to add them now. After baking, I noticed some cracks in the clay, so I patched the cracks and did a bit of sanding to fix it. For the flower, I made five tiny petals that I'll stick around the antenna. Then I'll use my fingers to bend the petals backwards. I'll also add some lines with my tool. And let's finish the flower by adding a ball of orange clay. We're done sculpting Rocky, so let's move on to the blue pigment. I made a grape shape for the head and another slightly bigger grape shape for the body. Then I added a wire to help connect the two pieces together. I'm using my silicone tool to blend the two grape shape into one another. Let's form the legs by pinching the clay on both sides. Then I'll attach the legs that I made separately. Let's add the antenna and the eyes. Let's carve out the mouth. Right now, blue looks very dead, but if you remember my beautiful drawing, you'll see that he's climbing onto the can. So trust me, our alien friend will look alive at the end of this video. I made some tiny petals that I'll squish together to make a little flower bud. I'm also adding green leaves all around. I also did a bit of sanding on the blue pigment before attaching the flower bud. And we're done sculpting the blue pigment. Let's make the red pigment next. This time I made a tiny armature and bulked it up with foil before covering everything in clay. With the body shape done, let's attach the arms. I'm gently bending the arms to give Red a bit of a sassy pose by placing his little hand on his hip. Let's add an adorable little pointy nose before attaching the antenna. Let's add the eyes using tweezers, just because it makes it look more fancy. I added the feet last so they wouldn't get crushed when I was sculpting the rest of the body. Now into the oven for a quick bake. When I baked the blue and rock pigment, the clay was getting cracks and because this time I used foil, the clay didn't crack. Huh, who knew following the direction on the package would actually work? Since I had already sanded the two first Pikmin to fix the crack, I might as well sand this one to make it as smooth as possible. Be careful when sanding because this happened, but it's fine, I can just glue it back together. I made a little flower from white clay. And when all the petals are attached, I'll add a little ball of orange clay in the center of the flower. And with that, we're done sculpting red. Can I just say how much I love his little sassy pose? Anyways, moving on to our last onion alien, the yellow pigmen. I made a wire armature, added aluminum foil, and covered everything in yellow clay. I then made two little triangle ears that I'll attach on each side of the head before adding the antenna. I then made two arms that I'll attach on each side of the body. Once the arms were in the correct position, I added the eyes. Let's not forget the little feet. 
I had a bit of a harder time sculpting the yellow Pikmin and it was quite lumpy. So I did a bit of sanding to make him as smooth as possible. Also, always wear a mask when sanding polymer clay because you don't want that plastic dust into your lungs. Now, all that is left to sculpt for the yellow Pikmin is the little leaf that goes on the antenna. This was made from a tin piece of green clay. And with that done, let's move on to the painting. I know you're probably wondering why I bothered to use colored clay if I was just gonna paint all over it anyways. When I started this project, the idea was that it would save me time because I wouldn't need to sand and paint. But as you can see, it didn't quite turn out that way. Anyways, the acrylic paint I'm using has a tiny bit of a shine when it dries off, which I think is ideal for painting pigments. Making the pupils symmetrical was a real challenge. It was a lot more difficult than it seemed and I had to start over multiple times. I ended up using a pencil to mark out where the pupils were and then I just filled the shape with paint. Hmm, his expression kind of reminds me of someone. After painting all the pigments, the last step is to add a gloss varnish all over the eyes. While the paint and varnish is drying, let's finish the base. Off camera, I made some fake moss by mixing a shredded sponge and green acrylic paint. The fun part was that it dried all in one piece, so it was a lot faster to glue on in big chunks. I also dab a bit of green paint on the moss to get more color variations. Off camera, I sculpted two mushrooms from polymer clay. I'll glue them to the base and then I'll add the pigments. If you haven't already, maybe now would be a good time to give this video a like or maybe even consider subscribing. Anyways, the last thing to do is to glue on these clovers that I made from paper and paint. And we're done! Let's move on to the glamour shots. Let's see if it works with the GameCube version. For real guys, don't bury your games into soil. This is a fake I made from polymer clay. <laughs> 